Hey guys, so my lease is officially up and my nomad travels are beginning. So are you ready to see the grand reveal of my first stay? Are you ready for it? Hold on one second. Wow! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Okay, now you can see a little better. <laughs> Does this look familiar at all? At all? <laughs> Am I confusing some of you? Some of you guys know what I was planning and it's nothing extreme. I mean, can you tell that this is the exact same layout as my apartment? <laughs> so I booked this guest unit, this fully furnished guest unit at my apartment complex for two nights just to help with getting things situated to help ease into the move. So just doing all that moving was so chaotic, I need a couple days to rest. So I figured in this video, I would show you exactly where I've been living. I've been secretive, I don't talk about the location, I don't talk about the area of LA that I'm in. I don't really show you outside of my apartment complex much, so I'm gonna show you all of it here today and show you how cool this little area of LA is. So let's just really quick have a little cute montage of this cute space. It's so clean, I love it. scheme than mine that's why it looks so different other than just like the decor and furniture being different than mine this is really trippy wow here we are give this video a thumbs up just to support everything because I'm going through a lot right now literally every single thing in my life is changing every single piece of my life is changing would you do something like this where you're just deciding to like not only move but change your entire lifestyle. It's not even that I'm just moving locations, I'm changing my entire lifestyle. I'm packing my stuff up, I'm gonna be hopping around. My entire life is changing, so any support I could get, like, I could use it, please. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> So my apartment that's no longer my apartment is right there. I'll show you. That was the one, that one right there with that pool view. I was just very lucky to have that and just trying to soak it in. I have insane bags under my eyes right now. I got to sleep at 2 a.m. last night <laughs> and that's kind of been the theme the night before it was 4 a.m. Just lots to do in this transitional period. So I'm gonna try to rest and relax as much as I can today. 
Also, for those of you curious about Lou, yes, and I had to move so much of the stuff from my apartment in to this guest unit. So I have to go through all of this today amongst trying to have a relaxing day before I leave tomorrow. But Lou is doing very, very well. Come here, Lou. Okay, but now that we're, you know, out of the apartment, she's doing so well. She's impressing me so much. I'm so proud of her. She's a trooper. So again, anyone who worries about Louise, stop. I mean, I appreciate you being worried, but she's doing good. She's doing good. Lou, you're such a good girl. All right, but I'm gonna get ready and I wanna show you more of where I've been living for the last three years. I'm gonna tell you exactly where I've been living, the part of LA and everything. I've been secretive about that because I didn't want people to know my area because that feels creepy. But now that I'm leaving, you get to know and I'll show you around and how cute the surrounding areas are. It's all walkable shops, restaurants, amazing things. So let's do that. Woo! my apartment building where I've been the last three years. And with that being said, I have lived in Glendale, California, which is part of LA. It's very cute. I'm gonna show you a little bit. Right across the street, there is a famous bakery called Porto's and a ton of other places and restaurants and things, but I love Porto's. It's so good. You can order it online, by the way. Try the potato balls if you do, but I'm gonna get some stuff for the road so that I have some comfort food as I travel and leave tomorrow. Ooh, this is nice lighting. But this is the back entrance to Porto's. pepper potato balls all of this guess what and a loaf of bread under $30 like ugh, I'm stocked up okay not one to vlog in public but I'm doing it anyway <laughs> this is mashed potatoes with cheese and pepper Z peppers in it it's warm, it's amazing. Seriously, the best thing ever. This is so good. So this is my little Glendale Street on the other side of my apartment. Super cute. Cameras never do things justice. This is one of my favorite juice bars. So there are just a ton of different shops and restaurants and that way about eight minutes you walk and there's an amazing shopping center called the Americana which we're going to go to tonight. Stay tuned for that. And then just around the corner back here's my apartment. Telling you looking at those shots through my camera, it's not doing justice how cute this area is. <laughs> That's a cute little taco stand on the corner by my apartment. So right here is my apartment and right there they do, uh, there's a drive-in movie theater. It's literally in that parking lot, I don't know if you can see, right next door to my apartment building. So if you saw on my IG stories a few weeks back, I was at a drive-in, I literally just drove next door and they have that every single weekend. So there's so many cute things around here and you are going to be obsessed when I take you on the walk down to the Americana. It's that place maybe, again, you've potentially noticed on my IG 
there's like all these restaurants and this beautiful fountain and it's just an amazing place but this is my street well not anymore but it was also it's so nice to be able to be like this is where I live. This is where I'm at. This is what I love because normally it's like there's parts that you need to censor. Like I can't show you how cool it is around here and show you what's next to me when I'm living here because people could find it and that just doesn't feel very safe. So it's just very nice to just be like unfiltered fully. All right. And now for some of my favorite areas of my apartment. You guys already know I love the pool. So I don't know if I've shown you too much this part, but I always found it really cool that the cabanas that we have also have TVs in them. Very resort style. I never once watched a TV in one of these cabanas though. I've sat here and like read and journaled and stuff, Gotta watch TV in a cabana. I feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> I always used to come and sit in here and work. I haven't in a while though. It's like when the world shut down, we weren't supposed to come out and like hang out in the common areas because they didn't want germs getting on things. But this was my little work hut at times. I would occasionally do coaching calls in here. I love it. Cozy. Dad, this is probably and by probably it is the last time I'm gonna sit in this how cute is this view also the pool is salt water which I guess is better for you than chlorine I suppose <laughs> and then in from the pool one of my favorite places and most used amenities the gym of times probably not enough though for my liking once again hello also this wall is really interesting it's like squishy Boop. and then we go through here and another really cool amenity is the theater room yeah. I haven't used this room in a while since over a year ago before the world shut down but I would come in here because there's um, like cable is that what it's called cable I never was into like the bachelor or the bachelorette but I got into it one year so every week I'd come and use the theater room to watch the bachelor or bachelorette for a few seasons what a cute thing for an apartment building to have a movie theater room I freaking love it and the lights dim down and the sound systems really good I'm happy I'm taking you guys on this tour because I probably wouldn't have taken time to come like sit in here and whatnot. This is a really great place though. There are other amenities as well, but these are just some of my favorite. And I love them all so much. Introduce yourself. Mm. I mean, you've been on my channel before. Mm. Just 
taking this moment. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait. All right, we are going on a walk. I have Alon here, who grew up in Glendale. I grew up here. This is like my hometown. And Shane, and they're engaged. We are engaged. We are engaged. They are engaged. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's me. She's our daughter's grandma's. Uh, Wait, what, who are we you? Have, we have a weird dynamic. We say that we're sisters, but then we say that this is my brother and I'm his sister, but they're engaged. Yeah, I also call Shane my dad because he used to have a tendency to parent me a bit. <laughs> so it's a so weird- To be fair, thing. someone's got to reign you in. So we have, a, we have a, a strange family dynamic. It is. <laughs> it's strange, but it's strong as ever, let yes. me tell you. The three best friends that anyone could have. Yay! <laughs> So this is just right around the corner from my apartment. There's a theater, there's bars that I never went to. Alon and I went to one of those one time ever. Oh, this one right here. Oh, we went to that one once. If you're ever in Glendale. There's like a, a theater that is for like ballets and plays, I believe. It's always lit up all nice and cute. Another thing I love about Glendale is that it's not only really cute, but it's also clean and super safe. I never feel in danger walking at night by myself here. What are they gonna say? That I'm handsome, with the exception of my red ass eyes right now. Shane, why do you look like a little glazed over? It's not pink it's not, yeah, it's not. Shane! Okay, so we've been doing construction at the house. We're doing a home model. I ended up getting like asbestos, ins like insulation stuff in my. Is that true? I'm pretty sure that's what's causing. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, it's really not good to get in your eyes. Okay. It makes you look uh, like you got pink eye. Oh, the trolley's out. <gasps> the trolley's out. We should go on the trolley. So we're at the Americana and it's basically magic, as you can tell. This is what, like 10 minutes away from me walking? Less than? Yeah, like seven minute this walk. This is like a seven minute walk from my apartment. <laughs> There's a fountain. I love it here. Why am I leaving? Oh my gosh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're at an amazing Italian restaurant and we have the best seat near the Christmas tree. Usually you can see, oh, you can kind of see the fountain over there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and it's an outdoor restaurant. Super cute. And we got seated in like five minutes, pretty much. Of course we did. Of course we did. It's like an hour wait for it. It's yeah. like an hour wait now. This is one of my favorite spots. Sometimes, because it's so close, I will just walk down here get one of their gin and tonics and a pasta dish and have like a self date by myself, solo date. But now I gotta... Now we have a triplet date. I was gonna say thruple and then I'm like, no. Nope, we're not a thruple, we're gonna get people thinking. He's my I know. brother but my dad and... He's my brother my and my dad and again. my sister and they're getting married. <laughs> so, you do the math on that. <laughs> okay. So I always like to get their gin and tonic, which is super cute, you'll see, because I'm gonna get one. Somehow Alon and I always order the same exact thing always without me. meaning to. We have like the exact same palette? Yeah, I guess so. Which is why we're splitting all of our food. Yeah, those are pretty. They look like a garden. Yay. A floating garden. Yay. Ooh, so shame. Pretty. Let's trade, can I have the pink flower? <laughs> Cute. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. To my left.
last night in Glendale. It was great. It's like a big eyeball. Red. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna eat this one. I'm taking it. Dinner. It's, it's like eating a bug, so I'll just put that there. I missed the bite. You need to take another one. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Describe the flavor. Mm. Mm. Floral. <laughs> mm. A little bitter. A little bitter. They are supposed to be edible. Yeah, it tastes kind of almost like bitter greens. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, you did the pink one. How's that one? <laughs> it's about what you said. Yeah. Okay. And then we also have the gnocchi, which is where I had the bread before. Wow. Wow. Everything okay? Yes. All right. Perfect, Enjoy. Wow, wow, wow. Lobster ravioli, gnocchi, and rigatoni of some sort. I'm so excited! Yeah. an entire car packing session tetris tetris session in my car i'm tired from it it's already it's 11 11 11 when we just checked so fitting um but yeah we just tetris my car i will show you that in the morning but we realized that this guest unit this bed is a pull-out bed so we're doing a movie night sleepover party for my last night here in Glendale, and Shane is popping some rosé, or what is that? Yeah, sparkling yeah. wine rosé. Yeah, let's check it out. Pop those, that one singular bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Pop it. This little, oh, okay. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> it's a celebration. Celebrate good times, come on. So, Shane, do you remember my favorite quote of yours that you just said while we were camping? No. Well, it's one that I keep thinking of, and it's, I love hanging out with you, Annie. It's like I get to experience having a sister. We get to act like dumb idiots together. Oh, I probably did say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it. Part of being a dumb idiot is in memory is also pretty Well, actually, it was in the. It was about the three of us. The three of us get to act like dumb idiots together when we hang out. That is it's the. Pretty, I think that's the pretty, hallmark of a great friendship. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. We get to be geniuses like 99% of the time otherwise, and when we get together, we just get to be big goofballs. So. Dumb idiots, specifically. So, yeah. One time I had someone on my channel, I forget who it was, but I had a comment saying, I don't like this girl on your channel. She acts so immature. I'm like, do you know who I am? <laughs> I act like a child 95% of the time. Like the embodiment of a child <laughs> of in a adult child. form. In a good way, I would I say. In a good way. Yeah. You're still yeah. responsible. <laughs> These, 11, 11, 11, 11. So These clocks are off They're though, but off. the fact that we're seeing 11 11 again. You get it multiple times. Yeah. 
There was a monkey? Yeah. He threw some kind of party where, where he invited people in to like graffiti the walls. And then he brought someone to do donuts in the middle of the space and burn tire marks into everything. In a hotel. Alon, yeah. you're out of control. Jesus. Louise. I'm gonna clean up Alon's second, but probably not final spill of the evening. Final party. Ooh, ooh. We're having a party. Clean up my messes, seven I'm boy. I'm glad you would drink. This is the extent to my partying, hanging out with you two. <laughs> Seriously though. With a camera on. Camera on, two glasses of wine. It's so what? whole thing. <laughs> that will be cut out, show. <laughs> it's just a montage of nipple comments. I really like that part. I'm just gonna keep them. Alon used to stay with Louise also when I'd be gone. Besides, like, we'd have our own, like, hangouts, but... It's, a, it's like, basically my home, too. Yeah, it's like your second home. <laughs> yeah. Documenting your final moments. Your Ray. Starbucks. This was one of the things I was super excited about. Start Moving in. Like, Starbucks coffee, free every morning. One last coffee, cheers. One last cheers. Cheers. Oh, they're smooching in the back. PDA. Oh, that's nasty. It's a sin. <laughs> when I was little and my parents would kiss, I would scream and say, Stop it! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and I meant it. I was like, stop kissing him. I don't want to see that. All right, guys, we have Lou all packed up. She's you know, it's gonna be okay. She'll settle down. We just gave her some CBD, so hopefully it'll kick in. I'm sorry, Lou. I'm sorry. You're gonna be okay. I know it's confusing right now. Alon and Shane have been lifesavers. You guys are about to see what my car looks like. <laughs> like, we packed that thing full to the brim in every nook and cranny. And last night we're like, we, there, how are we gonna fit any more else in there? Well, we pretty much did. You guys are gonna be like, how are you gonna drive with your car that full? <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Wow, it's been a good three years. <sighs> it's time. It's time. Be careful. Wow. Don't worry. I'm gonna go home to my parents. I'm gonna leave a lot of it there. I'm not gonna live like this. Is this not crazy? It's pretty crazy. Excuse, Excuse me. me.